here's the word da, and it's a small word. It means then, when, because, since, or as, and other things. Uh, since it's such a small word, um, it does tend to get uh, stuck to the words that come before it uh, when you hear it. So uh, the best way to familiarize yourself with da is to read it. And that way it's clear. You can see the word. Um, in any case, then is the most common use uh, for da. Var du der da? Were you there then? First da, blir du goy. Only then is it proper fun. Uh, that's just like English. It's used just like English when you use it as uh, then. And this is an adverb. Um, so it goes where an adverb would go in the sentence. Here's a couple more examples. Da are we for topped, then we are doomed. Va ardeno da. What is it now then? Uh, just like English, same thing. And um, it's not hard to figure figure this out. I mean, if if you know if you can um, translate most of the sentence here. You can see it's it's being used as then, but you can't depend on it being then all the time because sometimes it means when, and there are two forms of when in uh, Norwegian. Da is the past tense, and nor is the future tense. Um, this is pretty easy to remember. If you don't know that, though, if you don't know that, then it doesn't make any sense at all, but here, here's how I remember um, when I first learned the difference. Here's two different uh, sentences you can practice and repetera. Da jeg var ung, when I was young, nor jeg blir gammel, when I get old, when I become old, blir, uh, become. Uh, anyway, moving right along. Oh, uh, one other thing here. If you um, see da yai var, then you know it's when. Da vi var. Um, it's pretty clear there. And this is kind of a neat system. You know, English doesn't have uh, two versions of when, but Norwegian does. So there you go. <laughs> um, here's another two other examples of how it's used as when han cooked da jeg vasket golvet he cooked while i washed the floor and i when i found this sentence it translated into while and while is kind of another form of when and you can see how um you know you try to pin down the word da just when you think you've pinned it down it it means something slightly different so uh, anytime, you know, I, I had a lot of questions about this word when I first heard it. And like I, you know, like I said, it's used everywhere. If you take a newspaper and just take a red magic marker and dot wherever you see this word, you, there'll be little red dots everywhere. Um, here's a classic example of how it's used as when da vi var poferia, when we were on vacation. So now you know what that looks like. When you see it, you'll know it's when. Um, here's a little uh, trickier use of da. And here's where it stands in. It stands in uh, as uh, for because, since, or as. Um, I'm not sure why it's used this way, but I think it has to do with the way it sounds when you say it. Um, because the word because uh, is for D, um, and since is seeden. Um, this kind of it has a little bit more of a flow to it if you say da. Han ot tre epler, da han varveli sultan. He ate three apples because he was very hungry, since he was very hungry, or as he was very hungry. It's one of those things where it's translatable um, into th three different words if you if you wish it to be um, <laughs> so um, and let me point out here that this uh, it is a conjunction here and a conjunction in the sentence 
it indicates a lead setting. Lead setting means part of a sentence. He ate three apples is hell setting. It's a, it's a whole sentence that can stand on its own. Because he was very hungry is a lead setting part of a sentence. Um, and it cannot stand on its own. Um, I'm going to exp explain lead setting and how you can flip this sentence over so it begins with lead setting. Uh, that's another video, but just be aware that conjunctions usually mean a lead setting. And once you understand lead setting, you everything comes together. Um, so uh, I just figured I'd mention that. Um, moving right along, uh, here it's used samvada. Samvada? Like what? Samvada. Uh, doesn't translate into any of those other words. So uh, here's another example. Ufta. And this is when something kind of bad happens, but not really bad, that bad. <laughs> you know, it's an expression that's used. Um, and yada. Oh yeah, yada. And I hear that all the time. Uh, so just uh, to try to clear up da and make sense of it, it, it will make everything go a lot smoother. And if you want to do research, here's the um, references that I used for da, including, which I didn't add here, asking lots and lots and lots of questions from my Norwegian friends. And, um, you know, these are good links in general. So, um, till next time, uh, talk free dog, hada.